Determining Relative Electron Affinity. Ordering. So, in this problem, it says order these elements by increasing electron affinity. So, we have to remember that they want us to put it in increasing order. So, that means we're going to have the smallest electron affinity on the left, and then we're going to go to the largest electron affinity. And what we're looking for is remembering the periodic trend. So you would use your periodic table and go from left to right. We're going to increase electron affinity and we're going to decrease electron affinity as we go down a group. But we also have to remember that the noble gases have the noble gases, this last row here. I'm going to draw this last row and call it group 8A, which has the noble gases, has little to no electron affinity because they are happy with having eight valence electrons, which is what they want. So when we're looking at this, we have to be careful because this is a tricky part. We have K, S, E, S, F, and N, E. And when I'm looking at all these elements, all of the other ones are included in other groups, but N, E is a noble gas. So we know that it has no electron affinity. So that means it's going to have the smallest. So any is going to be here. So we know that K, the ones that begin with K are actually wrong. So C, D, and E are out of the running in the first place. Now we just have to decide between A and B. So we know that it increases as we go to the right. So we're going to look for the element that is close to the left. And we're looking at K and we're going to make sure that SE is in that same row. And we know that must mean that K is smaller than SE. So K actually is smaller than SE because when we go from right to left, we are decreasing. Decreasing. So K and SE are going to be smaller. And they are smallest because also, when you go down, it decreases since they're the ones in the lowest period that we're looking at. K and SE are the ones that are the lowest elements that we're looking at. That means they're the smallest as well because they're in that decreasing. They've already decreased to where they have to be. So that must mean K and SE because K is smaller than S, is, uh, has a smaller electron affinity than SE. Then we move S. Notice we move up one up one period, so that means we're increasing a little bit more, and then up another period to F, that means we're increasing we found the largest electron affinity. So A is the answer to this problem.